the nation Bharat is not the geography of the country. It's us, the people. For Nagas, Nagaland, it's not the geography on which we have so many issues, but it's the people. And <laughs> Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, if you look at him and try to see sensibly what he is doing and what he has envisioned for all of us, it is the right word to call him Guruji. <laughs> The Lok Sabha elections are around the corner and today we are in Nagaland. Naga politics is very interesting to observe. Though they have only one Lok Sabha seat, it is as hot as the Nagamirsha or the King of Silis, which is also called the Raja Mircha. Welcome to this election special episode. I am your host Aniruddha and today we will be closely following one of the most sought of the politician of Nagaland, Tamzin Imna Along. We will bring you the other side of Tamzin and also delve into many issues concerning the state of Nagaland in a very very candid way and also bring you a close look on the campaign trial. There was a welcome to this special edition of uh, Republic TV on the occasion of the elections 2024. Uh, so today we'll be closely following you on the campaign trial and you meet your people across the constituency. Uh, can you just let us know where we'll be heading towards today? We are going to a village called Sermon area uh -huh. where we will be doing campaigning in our own style and way. Okay. The uh, intending candidate from the PDA, NDPB, BJP consensus candidate is also coming there. So we'll be having a community fishing and having some good food and we'll all vote for Modi. <laughs> Uh, you are taking a tea break now. I'd like, like to know, is it a common practice that when you come out and stop and meet friends and take a tea break in these hotels around? No, it is a very norm, normal affair uh, in the political circuit of Nagaland that uh, we work very seriously but take the leisure of being good friends, partners and also just like today uh, our Honorable NDPP legislator is here, then our BJP legislators are here. The intending candidate is from NDPP, but it's an alliance PDA, BJP and NDPP together. So it's a very normal for all of us to be doing what we are doing. 
especially we are not doing this for the show. We are doing it for ourselves, <laughs> drinking the cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> you can see. <laughs> Introduction to Bishu's most importantly, I to Full of politics, He was Honorable Minister for Agriculture. He was an Honorable Advisor Law and Justice. He was Honorable Party, BJP Party, RPI, NCP, LGP, Independent. He was a very good person. He was a very good person. I just heard your speech and you were very direct when saying that the election model code of conduct is here so I can't give you anything and better don't ask. Oh, how, yeah. how, how can a politician be so direct? Is it the Naga sense of humor that we have often hear about? It's not only a sense of humor but that's the fact. Huh. And our people are sensitized now. No, nowadays it's not like before. Mm. People want to see a good candidate go. Mm. A good yeah, candidate yeah. win. Mm. Not like, you know, uh, anybody going. So we have a very good candidate in the form of a consensus candidate, mm. in the form of Dr. Chumben Mure. So it's understood. <laughs> Thank you. 
Fishing one of your favorite hobby or something? Oh yes, every Naga loves fishing, and I'm one of them. Apart from fishing, any other hobbies that you have? The, sorry, what did you say? Apart from fishing, any other hobbies that you have? There are many hobbies. One day we will talk about it. <laughs> the politics of Nagaland, if we see, we don't see any opposition. How did you manage that to happen? There is, we may have political party issues, but we work for all the people, irrespective of colors. And today when a leader like Narendra Modi ji, with his vision beyond the lifetime, is establishing for our nation, which even includes Nagaland as one. There cannot be any reasonable person to oppose such initiatives of a Vixit Bharat, which is a developed India. And so our people, even though in these villages and jungle, we aspire and dream to be developed. There are tremendous changes in development even today. And we look forward that there will be more comprehensive inclusive development happening throughout the country and in these small pockets of the easternmost part of our country. Campaign trail continues with Tamsin Imna along. We are back from the field now sitting at the backyard of Tamsin Da's house in Longto in Nagaland. Uh, Tamsin Da, who are there in your family? In my family, my mother is there. My father is no more. He passed away in 2010. My three younger brothers, their wives and their children, and myself, and all my household. Uh, since morning we have seen that there are at least 50 to 100 people living in this compound of yours in <laughs> Longto. They are all my uh, brothers and families. We work together and also Obviously, it's a political uh, campaign time, so political leaders and workers are also there. And also from the state party leadership, some of them are here with me. So we plan to make our efforts together. As uh, you have been campaigning, uh, related to the campaigning, I would like to ask you, what concerns you the most when it comes to the youth of the country today? See, India being a, such a vast country and with a very young uh, youth population, which is majority of the uh, populace of our nation, we have to remember that the youth are the strength of the nation. The youth should not be uh, getting into the views and ideas of propaganda machinery and 
get deceived. And today is a time when the nation has a hope and the youth should make best time out of it, work hard and establish oneself. Because whether it is to give competitive exams and become officers and bureaucrats or to become social entrepreneurs or to become businessmen or women or any field that they choose to even you know work on research and build our people in many ways it is not only building uh, oneself but together with the individual you build your family your community and your people we all will not be youth all the time so when we have strength when we have you know ability that time should be judiciously used to do well for all of us every time you share a post on twitter it grabs the attentions of the netizen not only in nagaland or northeast but across the country and in your post related to the prime minister you have a unique your very own style of addressing the honorable prime minister uh, as guruji how this came to your mind and when you started calling him guruji if you would like to share with our viewers the honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji if you look at him and try to see sensibly what he is doing and what he has envisioned for all of us it is the right word to call him guruji because first of all he is practicing what he has to do and teaching for all the people of this earth including all of us what we should learn so it's not only just a word called guruji but we need not meet him all the time or i i don't have the opportunity i don't get the opportunity to meet him 99% of the time but maybe in some gathering or in some important function we do get to see him he is the first one to come and hold upon any one of us and he has dedicated himself completely for nation building and we who are the young politicians we learn a lot from him i for one learn a lot from him you know just by studying his way of delivering empowerment which is the new politics that bharat has seen and the world is accepting it that in india there is a vishwa guru and that vishwa guru comes out from india in the form of narendra modi ji i think it is rightly said we we may never be like him we may never uh, be able to reach even the little that part of him but we can try and for a guru the greatest thing he is achieving is not only emna along but millions of youngsters are following him practically coming back to your state nagaland in nagaland we have seen you are the tourism minister and you have your very own style of promoting tourism for the state of nagaland you came up with the cartoon series teaman during the time of hornbill and in hornbill we literally so you turned out to be another center of attraction and people were just uh, taking making queue to get a selfie with you uh, you have this very unique fan base across india uh, kabhi koi problem face hua hai kya have you faced any problem because everywhere you go there are 
at least 10, 20, 50, 100 people waiting to get a selfie with you. Yeah, brother Anirudh, you see, fans are our friends. Cutting across party lines, cutting across caste or geographical demography that we have made, they not only get inspired, but they inspire us also to do what we have to do rightly. And the net citizens are wonderful people. They are very opinionated. They have an opinion on everything. But I believe the net citizens are also very wise people. Because or T-men bole ya tourism minister bole. ये सब चीज अपना कर्तव्य का एक समय है और उसमें हम सबों का ये धर्म होता है कि अपने राज्य के बारे में अपने देश के बारे में अपने पूर्वोत्तर के बारे में जो चीजें लोगों ने नहीं देखा नहीं समझा उन चीजों को सही तरीका से एक डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म के जरिया उन लोगों के मोबाइल हैंडसेट्स में पहुंच जाएं तो वो लोग देख के खुश होता है सो आई थिंक दैट्स ऑल अबाउट इट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट योर फैन बेस आई एम जस्ट क्यूरियस टू नो आर देयर द मोर बॉय फैन और गर्ल इन योर फैन लिस्ट सी हु इज बीटिंग हु आई आई हैव नॉट काउंटेड इन दैट वे but obviously uh, the women are more greater fans and also the men are there so for me it's equal uh, a few months a few years back i think if i'm not wrong uh, one matrimony side assured that you they will be searching a girl for you any progress on that aspect uh, it's shadi.com and anupam mittal ji a very eminent uh, you know, baron of the entrepreneur's world. We had our chat, and once I got to talk with him also. So, when the groom is still not willing, how can they search for the bride? So, at the time will come, and maybe if God willing, it would happen also. So, you are not committed to be single throughout? Jesa Atal Ji Kahana. कुआरा हूँ, मगर ब्रह्मचारी नहीं हूँ, so it it depends on the time. Right now, my people are deprived, which means the people of the state. All the honourable members and all of us, we are working hard to mitigate the various issues, which are like a wound in the body of the Nagaland. We hope that we will be able to find our agendas and work towards a progressive Nagaland, work towards a developed Nagaland, which will also contribute to the developed Bharat and grow together. Being from Assam myself, uh, since childhood I have grew up hearing that Nagas have a very great sense of humor. But to be very honest, only after uh, listening to you on speaking at different platforms across the country, I got a glimpse of the Nagas sense of humor. Uh, is it inborn? See, Anirudhji, जब परिस्थिति इतना मुश्किल हो और जब समय कठिन हो उस समय खुश रहने का कोशिश होना चाहिए। To be humorous is not only by pulling somebody down or by picketing about somebody, but we find humor in ourselves. You know, just imagine myself, you know, uh, I'm a big fat man and then, you know, 
I think that's one of the reasons why people love me also. And to be able to smile at oneself instead of, you know, laughing about others. I think it's something that's very humbling. That, yaar, jo aap se ho sakte, wo mere se nahi ho sakte, bohut sari cheeze. And in life from the time we wake up, open our eyes, till the time we go to sleep, we have to take the challenges of our life with humor in it. We should not take, uh, you know, challenges with anger. We should not take challenges with uh, negativism. But we should take all the challenges with a smile on our face and with humor in our heart. Whether we can or we not, we should at least try. Many politicians used to have their own speech writers, but I, I have learned from different sources within your household that you yourself, you give impromptu speeches, you don't take any note, handwritten or whatsoever. Uh, so it, it keeps coming into your mind. How you manage? Just curious to know. No, it's not managing. See, I'm not a very learned man, nor an intellectual or nor a researcher. But what I feel is that when you are with your people, when you think like a normal person, because we have come out of very difficult backgrounds. It is by God's grace and leaders like Atalji, Modiji, and today we are able to have a platform to work for our people. So when you go and speak, we speak for our people, of our people. So if I am bereaved of knowing my people's needs and my people's thought process, or the things that would mitigate our people's needs, then I should not be a politician. So I don't think it is very important to write and speak it out, unless it's a very protocolish thing. I think in whichever platform you go and speak, you speak of the people and for them. For our nation, the nation Bharat is not the geography of the country. It's us, the people. For Nagas, Nagaland, it's not the geography on which we have so many issues. But it's the people. And every problem can be solved by the people only. That is by us. We talk about Assam Nagaland border issue. I don't think there is a border issue if we are willing to work it out together. You know? We are one. We are the same people. So, like that, I think to be uh, drafting and writing is not my forte. But I always say, Aak chota hai, sab dikta hai. You see everything. Kaan Bhagawan ne isle diya ta ki sunne. Bahut saare chizong ko sunte hai, magar joh sahi hai, us chiz ko sunna chahiye. Zabaan diya hai, joh sahi hai, woh bolne ke liye koshish karna chahiye. Baaki, sab drust hai. You have been a very successful businessman. How you landed up in politics? Aapko uh, baspan say you were interested to join politics or is it the BJP's approach that particularly for the Northeast that made you join politics? No, I joined politics looking and knowing the need of our people the people of my constituency in particular and the need of our state. Other than that, it was because of leaders, resilient leaders like Atalji, Modiji, and to be able to see all the local issues, assimilating it in a way for the nation to go forward. I think 
the Bharatiya Janata Party has the right leadership and has the right ideological background to be part of empowering the people. So I also chose to join the Bharatiya Janata Party and I'm very happy for that. I, I, I know few of your antiques, uh, Temjanda. Yesterday I was discussing with one of your friend, uh, who happens to be my friend too, and he told me that since your days doing as a businessman, whenever you donated something somewhere, you have always said, hey, don't mention my name, said, keep it anonymous. No, it is uh, very important because if we give something, it is for mitigating the need of that something, not to popularize that I have given. Today, the same goes for development. With position comes responsibility. Today, there are a lot of things yet to be mitigated in my constituency, including the range road, which is an urgent need. But in many other sectors, the present day government truly is working like a double engine sarkar. We have a gutbandan here with NDPP, led by a very seasoned chief minister, Sri Nefurio. And in Delhi, our leader, Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. So we are able to mitigate most of our problems today. And especially with the flagship programs that are coming transparently, cutting out corruption, direct benefit transfers to the people. It has brought an uh, overwhelming, uh, I would say, an overwhelming positiveness among the people. There are people who always go for propaganda. Are BJP anti-Christian, BJP wo karta, ye karta. Kabhi BJP banke to dekhi hai. Tab malum parega ki kaun sa anti hai, kaun sa nahi hai. Uh, we'll have a quick rapid fire round here as we come to the closing of this uh, special episode. Uh, Temzenda, my first question Who is your favorite politician in the country? Narendra Modi. Favorite actor? Akshay Kumar. Favorite actress? The new ones I don't know. But like I said, uh, a little bit during my time. Karina Kapoor, then Karishma Kapoor. F favorite movie? Oh, it's been a long, uh, almost a year or so. I've not watched the movie, but Kayamat se Kayamat tak was good. Uh, favorite place in India? Nagaland. Uh, favorite person in your life? My mother. Favorite food? Uh, do you love pets? Absolutely, I love pets. Uh, do you have pets? Yes, I have dogs and cats. Your, in your college life or till date, how many girlfriends you had? That is something I have to really think about. Count yaad nahi yaar. Sochenge, tab bolenge kabhi aur. Are you single now? Absolutely. What are your next plans, like uh, any chances of getting into national politics at all no. India level? Being in the Bharatiya Janata Party itself is national politics. People think that if you go from here, then it national politics. It is not that. Nationalist Party, Bharatiya Janata Party, Narendra Modi ji, Amit Shah ji, J.P. Nadda ji, they have empowered us to take the national dream in the very local setting. So I'm already a national worker. I need not go there, you know. But time will come because we are a very disciplined party, Bharatiya Janata Party. And whenever our leaders want us where, that is how we go. And today my leadership wants me to be in Nagaland, 
I'm working as an MLA, as a minister to the state, and I think I need to do justice by working here diligently and coercively. At last, I would like to ask you, what message would you like to give to the youths of the country? They, uh, they follow you very closely. Uh, any message to the youths of the country through Republic? See, to all the Republic viewers, I would really like to assert by saying that 2024 elections is not just about winning the election. Under the leadership of Narendra Modi ji, it's not just about winning. It's about decisive uh, mandate. Your vote counts. Kindly go and vote decisively to the vision of Vixit Bharat, which is a developed India by 2047. Narendra Modi ji may be there, may not be there. We wish him well, but this vision has to go forward. Not the vision of, you know, all the negativism, but a vision of one India, one nation, one people growing together. And I think the youth, especially the youth who are in the Republic TV viewers, should go and vote for Narendra Modi. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for giving your time and for this incredibly candid conversation, Tamzinda. Thank you so much. Hope it was candid. <laughs> Thank you. This was Tamzinda along talking to us on the sidelines of his campaign trail and opening up like never before for Republic Media Network. I am Anurudh Bhakat with video journalist Asok.